You will always have conspiracy theories when you have uh, very challenging public health crises. They are nothing but distractions. President retweeting a conspiracy video alleging that masks do not work. The video was then removed by Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube because it violated rules against spreading misinformation. The second most powerful man in the world revealing himself in this video as a mask truther. A major study finding masks made no difference in stopping the spread. Mask mandates, it turns out, were an utter failure. It's not me saying it, but the New York Times. The mask mandates did nothing. Will any lessons be learned? Brett Stevens cites a comprehensive British review of 78 randomized studies with more than 600,000 participants. So that wasn't um, scientifically sound. Uh, effective. The, the mask so, guidance correct. was not Correct. It science. wasn't science-based, and the six feet of distancing has, was arbitrary. Um, All around the country, over the weekend, protests popped up these morons and internet conspiracy theories, demanding an immediate end to lockdowns. And let's be honest, people, this is both insane and counterproductive. Because the more you gather in groups, the longer the lockdown will have to go on. Did lockdowns during COVID prevent severe effects from COVID-19? Did it help in the arc of the pandemic? Economists from Johns Hopkins say no. The report warned against using lockdowns as a pandemic measure in the future because of the low effectiveness on mortality and the consequences for the economy. The, the lockdowns in terms of their effects on mortality, we measured it against mortality, were, were basically irrelevant. They destroyed people. They literally killed people. When you shut down medical care in spring of 2020 alone, there were 650,000 cancer chemotherapy patients in this country alone, half of them didn't get their chemo because they were afraid. They were told it was dangerous to go to a medical facility. You weighed in on a theory that's been floating around that perhaps the number of fatalities related to COVID-19 is being inflated because people are actually dying of other things. Uh, can, what's your read on that theory? You know, Savannah, there is absolutely no evidence that that's the case at all. You know, it, it, I think it falls under the category of something that's very unfortunate, these conspiracy theories that we hear about. Even though wackos, Trump wackos, are, are, are doing conspiracy theories, saying those numbers are padded. What should we say to people who conspiracy theorize about an overcount of the deaths? Follow up now to my conversation with L.A. County Health Director Barbara Ferrer, who last week acknowledged the county may be overcounting COVID deaths by as much as 20 percent. Could it be a secondary contributing cause? So, for example, somebody with kidney disease, COVID then pushes them over the edge to have kidney failure. That's COVID as a contributing cause. And then the third is COVID as an incidental finding. So somebody coming in with a gunshot wound or a heart attack and they happen to test positive. Now, part of the conspiracy theory is that the disease started in a laboratory in Wuhan. Just weeks ago, Dr. Anthony Fauci rejected the conspiracy that coronavirus was man-made in a lab in Wuhan, China. And yet this week, Donald Trump is still pushing the debunked bunkum. Uh, a lot of people on the right love that phrase, escape from the lab, because it sounds like something from a Marvel movie or a comic book. Everyone who believes in the conspiracy is saying that he came out of a lab in Wuhan, Wuhan rather than uh, through food at a market. And uh, he continued to push a conspiracy theory that has already been debunked by our intelligence community. This whole notion that the coronavirus was developed in a Chinese lab, that has been debunked. There's a report today that another intelligence arm of the US government, this is inside our energy department, has joined the FBI in concluding that COVID began with a lab leak in China. Is that I don't know who to trust. Yeah. Right, I certainly don't trust reporters mm -hmm. because reporters treated this in initially as if it was nothing more than a crazy unhinged conspiracy theory. Yeah. So who do you trust, right? You can't trust the legacy media outlets because that was their narrative. It came out of the city that has a Wuhan Institute of Virology, a Chinese lab that worked on coronaviruses. And that is an awfully large coincidence. And uh, and that's what I've thought throughout that that was an awfully large coincidence.